Hey guys, my name is Manatella. I'm here working with Plan Ticket and today I'm gonna be showing you Miss Red Language Lab. I'm gonna be making a little introduction on what it is. I'm gonna be showing you also the main features it has to offer. So this will be like a little overview on what the software is. So let's begin. Here you can see the Miss Red Language Lab software. I'm gonna do a double click there. You're gonna be able to see the login system. I have already created an account, so I'm gonna be putting my password. You can also create your account right there. You can choose your class and your channel, you go login. I'm gonna use the five user demo. Now it's connecting with the student. And there you can see that it has already connected with the student. So you can see here the screen in real time so if you have like five students you can see all the screens in here so Miss Real Language Lab basically is software that allows every teacher to control the students activities in real time but also have a collaborative work with the students as you can see there are many features available right here in the right part here in the left part you have the monitoring features and on the bottom you can see all the quick action buttons so we're gonna see a little of everything and I'm gonna show you right here on the left part here's a monitor view as I told you before here's a report view you click there and you can see the student name the computer the address the IP address and all the information you need to know about your student's computer here is the policy control view it's another monitoring feature that allows every, every student to have a white list and a black list. This means you can put a website that you don't want your students to enter, you can put it on the black list so that no, none of your students will be able to access to the website you choose. On the white list you can manage the websites that you want them to be able to use and if you click on all open they can enter any website they want. Here in the advanced you can edit, here you can edit the list so you can choose what web website they won't be able to use or they can only access to the websites listed here on the white list down here you can see this is web policy for websites this application policy so you can see the student right now has these two programs open you can also put the white on the blacklist or the whitelist some programs you don't want them to use or the only programs you want them to use you can use the whitelist and this is the USB policy you can also see what they have on their computers what if they are using USB or if they're not and if you don't want them to use you can block all USB ports and they won't be able to use any uh, let's continue. Here you have test view. You can see the test that you have already made on the history, and you can see the student state and the answer schedule of every student. Here on the bottom part, you can see the start test button, and um, you can start a test anytime you want during the lesson. Remote voice recording view. This is for students' recordings. They can make a recording of their own voice and send it to you. You can start a recording and you can send it to all students. You can stop it. You can view the recording files. There are many features for this. And in case you want to see the student copy recording files, you can see it there. Clear recording files in student machine. That's also something you can do from here. Just one click away. You just click it there and you click clear recording files in student machine. File submission view is basically to see the file submission that your students made. They can send you files to you or you can send files to them and you can see here the state, the file name, the progress, the count, every information you need for file submission. You can also disable this feature so that your students cannot send any files. You can also set a file submission folder, open submitted files, enable submitting. Everything you need, you can check it right here for file submit. Here, these are the file submission requests. 
that your students may want to send something to you, you can accept, you can accept all, you can deny one student, two students, or you can deny all of them. So that's the monitoring features of the software. This right here in the bottom part are the quick action buttons. As you can see here, begin class, finish class. You can remove power on for the students' computers. You can sign in for your students. You can silence the screens of your students. Here I'm going to show you how that works. Here you can see the screen of the student that is logged in. So if I click on silence, you will see the, the, the screen of the student's logs. So they cannot use the computer anymore. This is mainly for gaining back attention from your students. So in case they're doing something they are not supposed to do, or perhaps you just see them a little distracted, then you can click there and for, for a while. Here you can click silence off and everything goes back to normal. Here you can clear student call. That means that no calls from your students. You can disable student calls, remote voice recording, whole process recording. You can recall all your class in case you want to. Like right now I'm recording this. So you can see here the recording I have already made like right now. You can also browse files. You can record in any of these two ways. This is a message. As you can see here, these are three buttons are on the same window. This is for messages. You can send a message to your student. And your student will get that as a chat. In case he answers, you can see that's the sound. And here are the chats that you have available. So this is a chat for your students from your student to you. This is a chat you started. On events, you can see the time of the session that the session began. So, so you can see when did your students went in session, at what time. And here's a request for help. Your students can request for help at any moment during your class and you will, you will get the request here. You can see the student name and the student question. Here on the right part, you can see all the features that you may need during the class. Screen broadcast, voice broadcast, oral training, speak, intercom, voice monitor, voice chat, simultaneous interpretation, test, quick response, competition, a student demonstration, net movie, group teaching. Net movie is basically a streaming of multimedia files. You can broadcast any multimedia file without having to submit them to your students. So you don't have to send the file for them to be able to see it. Group teaching, you can divide your, your classroom in, in groups and teach different topics to each group. This is the chat that I already show you. This is conference call, exam, self-learning and assistant tools. Here you can see the volume of your microphone, playback for speaker. Here's the document camera in case your students are using the camera. This is a recorder and a laptop. Here you can upload a file from your computer in case you need to. And that's about it. The software is very useful, very easy to handle. As you can see, every feature is right here you can see all your students computers and you can select them too in case you want to silence some of your students or you want to shut down some computers so this was misware language lab software i will be making more videos about this software i'm going to show you guys how the features work individually and in real time with the student console also so stay tuned guys for more videos and tutorials on this software, Miss World Language Lab from Planet Ticket. My name is Marcela, thank you very much for watching.